Okay, so we are on Aries Singles for 2022, and we finished March, and now we're on April, but let's start with a spark of grace. Okay. All right. Okay. Celebrate your good health. Ooh. Okay, and write down the names of all your loved ones. Ooh, that's a nice nice focusing places. Like focusing on what is working, right? In the body. Okay. And then it's not like uh, ignoring or neglecting by but by making that good health the dominant uh, thought. I feel like then that manifests. Okay, so write down the names of all your loved ones. Ooh. Okay, so ooh. Okay, these are matches. <laughs> okay. All right, so okay. Uh okay, here's one more. Okay. And this one too. Okay. Play music that lifts your soul. Okay, I like that one. <laughs> Play music that lifts your soul, right? Okay. So it's like get rid of the sad songs. Okay. In the and uh and some of you who like the blues, uh maybe you, you might like switch for a while, right? Okay. Uh to non lyrics or something like that, right? Jazz or something. Okay. All right. Remember that how you respond to things is within your control. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I question that. <laughs> Especially after the holidays. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So here we go. Right. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We had the star and then we had the Aquarius. Okay, which is like the Uranus energy. It's like the forefront of creation and then we're stepping into a new reality. That's what we had uh, in um, the previous readings. Okay, so now we're going into uh, April. Okay, so how should we start this? Okay. These cards? Okay, so I'm going to pick the two top cards of these. Okay, so what is this? My every thought is attracting its vibrational essence. Ooh, okay, so let me pull these matches back because I feel like this goes with this. Okay. My every thought, so that would be like... If you think good health, right? If you think good health, then that attracts that to you. Okay, so this is important for us as a collective. I know we're on an Aries love reading, but uh, I feel like that's important because we're trying to switch up this C thing and make it less dominant in our thoughts. But uh, it's been challenging with, oh, 13. It's been challenging with news constantly uh, suggesting that it's getting worse, right? Okay, so then uh, if we're news buffs, then, uh, then that could uh, be the dominant thought again, right? So we want to make that less. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, uh, thank you. Okay, so my every thought is attracting vibrational essence and celebrate your good health. So thinking about good health and well-being brings in that in our physical reality. Okay, so I feel like we're on our way, right? I feel like there's been a little bit of a pushing uh, with uh, the fear factor in this whole thing, right? Okay, some people have gone uh full monty <laughs> what <laughs> some people have gone full monty with this wait a minute let me see if i'm interpreting this right <laughs> all 
Okay, some people have gone full Monty with resistance against the news. Okay, so it's like, okay, so that was like not wearing a mask. Okay, for a lot of people. Okay, it's like pushing against uh, the program that's been uh, pushing through the news, right? Okay, and also, um, right, so... Okay, and then there's a question. Are all these shots really necessary, right? Okay, so while we're trying to figure all that out as a collective, uh, the suggestion here is think healthy thoughts. Okay, so what would that mean um, when you're coming together with somebody? Okay, so, okay, so sexuality, sex, full Monty, okay, so I get it, so it's like when you come together with somebody, are you thinking about what, what diseases you can get, or are you thinking about love, and bringing that into your reality, through your thoughts, and your feelings of love, okay, so what is dominant, is a uh, fear of of like disease dominant when you come together with somebody uh or is it love okay so then what hold on okay <clears throat> so i feel like what the problem has been is not divulging a past history okay so every day is a new day right but if there if there is a condition then um uh, and you're working on a love relationship, right? Especially, it's important to um, let the other partner know things going on, right? Okay. And perhaps you just, that could be imagination too. Maybe there's, you think something there is there and there isn't. Okay. So, where are we going with this? Hold on. Okay, so, okay, to have deep intimacy, you have to really open up, right? And, and of course, um, okay, so there was a phase where people were like, both parties would get tests, right, to uh, engage sexually. And that might still be a great practice, right? Because at least that would ease the mind, okay. And then you could actually focus on the connection, right? For some people who are in this extreme energy. Okay. All right. So, all right. So if you listen to positive music, right, then that would become a, a dominant vibrational essence, uh, vibration. Okay. Also. And what is this? Okay. Okay. So that, I feel like that's important there with uh, things, right? Okay. So being mindful, even if it's just a, um, a physical thing, to also be open and treat the other person as if it were you, right? Okay. And be open. Okay. Um, okay. So the golden rule only works if you treat yourself well. So... Um, take a look at that too. Okay, so whether you are thinking about wanted things or unwanted things, you are still sending out a request. Okay, so if you keep your mind on disease, dis-ease, that uneasy feeling, then that more like it comes in a partnership. Okay. And then if you pay attention to the physical reality, you know what where your thoughts have been, right? Okay, that's usually a good marker. Okay, so what is this? My imagination attracts all cooperative relationships. Ooh, and my imagination song. Ooh, I love that. Okay, so my imagination attracts all cooperative relationships. Okay, so... What does that mean? That means as a creator, feel those places out in your dream, in your ethers, in, in your in dream world, right? Your Neptunian uh, energy, okay? And really kind of 
feel those kind of swim through feel, get your feelers out right yeah feelers out okay the universe and all the physical and non-physical players in it is responding to vibrations that you are offering yeah that's what i've been saying you could all you want say stuff with your mouth but people still can read your energy okay so um you know so it's like you're not hiding anything and besides that it goes down to the melting pot of creation <laughs> the stuff that we're suppressing and gets mixed into the <laughs> uh, stuff so uh yeah there really is no hiding here okay so all right so um so the universe and all physical and non-physical players in it is responding to vibrations that you are offering and no distinction is made between vibrations that you offer as you observe and vibrations that you offer as you imagine. Ooh, okay. So then what we observe, we need to be mindful of that, right? Okay. All right. Okay, so then let your imagination in a positive way be the dominant focus. Ooh. That really uh, lit up for me. <laughs> the Pisces in me. <laughs> okay, if you will simply imagine your life as you want it to be, all cooperative components will be summoned and even more important, all components that are summoned will cooperate. It is law. The experience you have with others is about what you evoke from them. Ooh. Okay, so that's that's a lot. Okay. All right, that's enough, I think. <laughs> All right, so now, okay, uh, let's go into April. April, airy singles, April, airy singles. Woo, Empress and Seven of Pentacles. Woo, spring is going to be prosperous. Woo, hallelujah. Woo, look at all the, the, the tree, the money tree. Money does grow on trees. It, it, it comes from trees, right? Okay. Ooh. Okay, so there's a horse here. So some of you will... Okay, so I'm feeling some Capricorn energy here. So uh, so that could be... You could be coming into a, a Cancer, a Capricorn. Ooh, her head thing looks like a, a, a thing here. Okay, so um, so you could be meeting another Aries, perhaps, too. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm picking up, um, yeah, Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn Cancer. Okay, water signs I'm getting. I'm picking up water signs. Okay, all right, so. In April, okay. Huh. Okay. For some of you, this might be same-sex relationship too. Okay. All right, so there's that in April. Okay. Beautiful. Mm hmm Okay. Empress and Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so what are we working on, Aries Singles? Ooh, Temperance. Okay, so 
that's that Sagittarius I picked up a little bit uh, before. Okay, so uh, balancing your emotions, right? Aligning those emotional, your emotional scale. Okay. And opening up because this card was like in love relationship, like sitting on the egg is like giving it warmth and love and nurturing that side of you, which wants to offer the loving cup. See how it poureth over <laughs> onto the flower. Okay. So could be a earth sign here. Okay. And look at the sunflower. So that could be also uh, anyone who's positive is what I would say with that. Anyone who's positive in April is coming into your experience. Okay. Wow. Okay. So that means by April, you were doing this work where you're, you were focusing in positive places. Therefore you were attracting that to you and, and able to open up and trust, move in your faith here, wanting to work on it in this connection and being able to open up. Okay. Through communication. Okay. Ooh, okay. So there's that again. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, so that communication, again, five of wands reverses the wands. Okay, the, the feeling of competition and brings you together with your lovers. Oh, my God. All right, so this is the message again from March to April. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me see what's on the bottom here. Okay. Bottom page of swords. So communication again. Okay. Clear communication. Whoa. And on the top of the deck was king of wands. Okay. So. Wow. And look at these. Look, looks like little spaceships up here in the sky. It's like otherworldly kind of love looking out at it. Imagining an otherworldly love. Oh my gosh. And then look how this kind of shapes like a lion. So it's like you gathered the courage, but it also could look like a shell too a little bit. So it's like you gathered the courage and was able to move your emotional waters to bring in this ship's. Oh, man, that's nice. Okay, April's looking really nice. Okay, so let's move into May. See how we're doing on the time. Okay. Okay, May. Okay. May. May. This one slid out. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, so creativity and imagination again. I feel like is going to get you outside of the cage. It looks like a bird cage. Okay, so... And it's like you have these little uh, helpers here in the three of pinnacles. Whatever you're working to create, you have helpers in the non-physical realm assisting you. And they're giving you the key to open this birdcage, this, this uh, past limitation. And you are going to go beyond that now. You can receive that now. Going beyond that now. Okay. And see how there's like little sparks here? So it's like metal and metal and electric. Ooh, I'm picking up Chinese astrology again. Okay, so metal, maybe go look at metal and Chinese astrology. And uh, yeah. Okay. Also having bird vision, right? 
Okay, and, and um, this was in a Scorpio reading. Looking with your spiritual eyes. Look how the eyes are lit up. These are pinnacles, but they look like eyes, don't they? Or goggles, even. Lenses. Looking through the lens, your perception with pure light. Seeing that in others. Ooh, that's nice. That, that, that work right there is just beautiful. Okay, the next card up is High Priestess. So the key is to, here's your key, open that. Okay, use your intuition and your connection to the one within to maneuver your dream work. Okay, so <clears throat> I feel like these two go together. Page of Wands and Eight of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so I feel like the message here with that is try to work on connections uh, other than sexual first. And I feel like that will bring you success. And then again, communication is at the bottom. Okay, so let's go into... I think we might have to stop it there. Let's stop it there. We're going to go into the, another video.